still for me. Oh, right. Time. So I haven't made a video in a while. I am not going to lie. I did I did record. But like I swear I think uh I recorded and frigged up. I mean, it did frig up. For some reason like the audio in the um, on the video was really bad. Like really bad. Am I supposed to do this at a certain time? There. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. So yeah, I did um I did one with Poppy where we returned to egg to the to um to the dragon. So if any of you guys are following my video, just 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 watch somebody else's for those missions. I forgot the other one. But sadly, I lost them. Is that a hippogriff? Oh, we can probably just... Just teleport there. Because I think we're doing an important mission right now. Yeah, let's speak to the portrait. Now, how do I get down there? Rumor requirement, the map chamber. We're going to the map chamber. Okay. Last time I had to walk all the way there and there was a freaking um, flu flame there. Hello, I'm here. I'm home. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. Me? I have news. Is that her name? The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. <sighs> Most oh, trouble. that's what I did. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood I did Council? a mission with Amit. They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Ah, shit. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay. Let's do this mission. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. All right, we gotta go speak to Fig. Professor Fig. Professor Fig. Hello, my fellow Rebellion. students. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh, shit, there's something here. Is it in here? I think I haven't played this game in a while. Rebellion. What the hell? Another level Hello, to unlock. 
Found something else. What the hell is this place? Rebellion. Dark Tower Cell. Kept a troll here. Huh. Okay, now back to go, <laughs> back to trying to go see Professor Pig. Let's go. Oh, is this even the thing that I was supposed to be looking for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw one of the. Ah, oh, forget what those damn things called again. Demi guys. I forgot what Professor Fig teaches. What do you teach, bro? Oh, oh, I see a demi guys. Sorry, Professor, you're gonna have to wait. Fine now, demi guys. Rebellion. All right, that's all. Now let's wait again. <laughs> all right, Professor Fig. How the hell are we gonna get inside the headmaster's chamber? Cham Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. Yeah, well, what hell is no he? Time now. What the, the hell is wrong with Mr. Fig, Believe man? Professor not. Fig. It's in like, I swear, it's only his... Incredible. Like, Very his well. stuff just You'll freaking out. you password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Oh my god, man. Let's how do just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, now let's go. to find the Headmaster's house elf.
wonder what the third trial is going to be. Oh, what the hell do you want? I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? Which I one? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Okay. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Boils? <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. <laughs> a student. Very well, sir, if you insist. This little shit, huh? I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this one. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth Dad. Weasley. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking What for did you say, you little shit? Surely you've seen him. Ah. The little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah, that's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> These guys are ballsy, man. Well, there's one for my diary. Christmas tree. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Headmaster, here, yeah. what could he want? <clears throat> oh. I wonder, Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I, I have to write 20 <laughs> inches on the so and the tutors was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. No. Nope. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. My guy is a friggin' Something menace. Is very wrong with Professor Black. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can <laughs> even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Man, how to ruin a guy's life. What 101. Do you deserve him as a head? I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Oh, no. Did I even go to the Great Hall yet? This way. I don't want to talk to you. I can't even do Revelio. I don't think I went to the Great Hall. I don't think Stand I ever went to the Great Hall nuts. here. <clears throat> The future is yours. Professor, a word. How do you want, Professor Weasley? Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. 
How... how uh, delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway? Leeway? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Are you writing me out? into the Forbidden Forest, to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You Goodness. cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. <laughs> but I'm happy to look in. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand it. Yeah, I, I have to give Professor Fig some breathing. I help. have not been here. I have not been here at all. Like, look at that. Like, even the Revelio stuff is right here. What a wonderful job Scrope is doing. What up, Scrope? Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. <laughs> How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. <laughs> of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. Always pure. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's <laughs> French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Ha! Toujours Thank pure. You. Never speak of this conversation I don't know with French. me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh, ahem. Uh, the polyjuice potion is wearing off. Oh no, what did he say? Let's get out of sight. <coughs> oh man. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I oh, yes. believe it worked. How are you, Revelio? The password to the gargoyle. Revelio. Hello, Homora. Smart Fedora. Revelio. Bombarda. Oh wait, my ears itchy. Okay, there we go. Revelio. What is that? Is that um? Ooh, okay. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. The Great Hall Ceiling. Revelio. Hurry up and go to the friggin' thing. 
Oh my god, I can't believe I did not go to the Great Hall at all. Slap! I was collected them all, I think. What are Sebastian? What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous scriptorium? Ominous used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. <laughs> There's more to the my guy. Oh, oh my gosh. Realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucian? What? What does the Cruciatus curse do? It's known as the torture curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. Holy shit. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch okay. for now. I'll have news soon enough. I have a little. I have a little bit more sympathy for that mind. blind bastard that was friggin' Rebellion. being rude to me. Holy shit! Shouldn't be dealing with that type of shit as a kid. Okay. Nine plus seven is sixteen. So the first one is the spider. If my math is correct. One, two, three. Easy peasy. Rebellio. Rebellio. Wonder which part of the friggin' Hogwarts I that I didn't do yet. Like where's this at? Where do I, how do I get over there? You can't imagine how Lumos. Is that over here? Revelio. Yeah. Get your ass Lumos. over here. Probably got most of the field guides around here anyway. Rebellion. Let's go this way though. Yeah, I haven't been over this way. Alohomora. What do we have here? Oh, demiguys. The demiguys. 
Uh, time to wait. Mind now, demigod. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Revelio. You already got the Scriptorium. That was fast. Revelio. Oh shit. That's only freaking use of potion. Revelio. Yawning gargoyle. Try to find a shortcut. Holy shit, this is tall. Oh, man. Is there not another entrance? Where's the other entrance at? I guess not. Nope. Up by the trophy room. Nice to see you, my young friend. Mm -hmm. Revelio. <laughs> haven't been here in a while. I see it. What the hell is that? House elf armor. That's so cool. Oh. So to say, how the hell am I gonna go get over here? Revelio. Okay, I think the last. I think I have one more of those. Um. I would say one more of those friggin' um tokens. Is that demi guys? No. It's a crystal ball. Revelio. And that's a level three lock. This one's a level two, Hello, though. I'm even am I even going the right way? I am, right? Revelio. Professor Hecket. Oh my god, so much unidentified items. Is there demi guys around here though? No. A skedaddle. Revelio. This is so cool, man. I'm just like going through. All the other things. Okay, that's locked. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Lumos. Lumos. Okay, where's that at? Revelio.
Right here. I think. Nope. I don't know where it is. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'll find it up here. Might be up here. Toujours pure. It actually might be up here. Holy I shit, there's all more. The elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Sleep in portraits. Holy smokes. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay, let me explore first. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Can't even get in there. Level three. Is that level three too? No, it's a level two. This Alone one. Gamora. Revelio. Well, it leads outside. And that's a level three, though. That must be the pedestal. Drink his coffee. Revelio. Sorry, man. I'm just exploring right now. Look at his sword and hat, man. I'm in a book. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can oh, I saw my fiance doing this I one. I am here. In this place, you may call me Lee. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Okay. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as oh, don't tell me it's like the freaking Deathly Hollows. Avoid each of them. Oh, yeah, at all costs. it is. That's cool. Am I supposed to hide? Watch this. Oh, what? I can't do it. Never mind. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. 
I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. As before we can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. Okay. Right now. Oh, no, 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 what? You got I see. A staircase straight ahead. Easy peasy, man. <laughs> I played so much Metal Gear Solid. Death. How could this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they'll be able to find me if I go up there. to fight them? No? Just keep going, just keep going. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Right now. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way Ooh, past them. Got caught. I'm moving faster than the game wants me to. Come here, you dumb bastard. Hurry up and hurry the hell up and move. There we go. Look away. Yeah. Go, go, go. And we made it. Nothing this way but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Look at that, he already, I already freaking went through it. Oh, shit. Hurry up and go away. Now's my chance. There we go. The invisibility cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. I really wish this game would let me friggin' sprint every single while I'm friggin'. What's what I'm looking for? I really wish this game would let me sprint all the time while I'm crouched. They can't see me at all. Nope. I can get closer to them. All right, peace out. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Well, that's one challenge. Do I have to do every single one of them? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Is that the other one? Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Oh 
yeah. I've never felt such power. Do I have any, uh... These are all my these are all my spells. I don't need those. Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's get you guys are already dead technically. Come on, break him out, break him out. Oh shit, press the wrong button. Out of my way, bro. Look at my freaking combo, man. Forty eight. Am I gonna level up? Level up? No? So I'm probably gonna get um, I'm, I'm, I might do the bad end then. A lot of people are doing like the good end, like, well, AKA my fiance. I press friggin' Y. Bombarda. Defender. Bombarda. Defender. Descender. Depulsor. Descender. Defender. Bombarda. Depulsor. Defender. Oh, holy shit. Bombarder, 
I'm sorry, I'm just trying to oh shit. I'm trying to be focused. Defender. Depulsa. Stupefy. Depulsa. Stupefy. Defender. Oh shit. Bombarder. Defender. Potato. Stupefy. Descender. God damn man, this one's cool. That was a gauntlet. That was that was a really fun gauntlet, I ain't gonna lie. And we're already done this one. Now we get the Philosopher's Stone. Is that a Kelpie? Looks like a Kelpie. I only know that because of um Shimmy got me ten set. Philosopher's Stone. You are far from finished. Half is gone. Oh, poor Neve. Let us always off. We won't be the same without her. What's this one? You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. A shadow? Oh, we're already done. Okay. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Yes, yes, I'll remember it. Yes. Show me the memories. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. A don't goblin? Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Nia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Holy shit. Christ, man. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's a door. This must stop. 
all of us. Uh oh. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Holy shit. Revelio. Now there ain't no friggin' Going to the map chamber right away, okay. There ain't no ain't no treasure, no nothing. Obviously is the door is a bad guy. I, I called that right away. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes, it's me. It is, and I have. But you, you are so, so young? I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She, she was. was. It was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. <laughs> I hesitate, I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless... The, the knowledge, knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Be this guy, man. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. Lodgok? I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I kind of, I, kinda, I, I may have, good a job distracting Black. I may have I no caused a lot of, hold his a lot of shit. <laughs> I didn't think that, uh, I didn't think that was going to be too fast. That was, that was fast. <laughs>